Peace everybody, back with another video. This is Larry King, dead at 87 after COVID-19 battle. And as you can see here is um, Larry King himself. He had passed away. Larry King, the legendary TV and radio host who conducted more than 30,000 interviews in a stored storied 60-year career has died yes yeah, so larry king was the legendary tv and radio host who conducted more than thirty thousand interviews um he had a 60-year career and he has passed away king died at cedars sinai medical center early saturday this according to Aura Media, the media company Larry Cole founded. So yes, yeah, so he died at the um, medical center early Saturday morning, which is today. Um, this according to Aura Media, the media company Larry Cole founded. Larry was diagnosed with COVID-19 over the holidays and was hospitalized in the ICU at one point, but had recently been moved to a regular hospital room and was breathing on his own. Things took a turn and King died Saturday morning. So he was diagnosed with the COVID-19 over the holidays um, and was hospitalized in the ICU at one point. Uh, he then moved to a regular hospital room. He was breathing on his own. And then things took a turn. And of course, he has died this morning. Larry, who published more than 30, who had published more than 20 books and had a USA Today column for decades, copied and various ailments throughout his life, mostly heart problems. He suffered several heart attacks and in 1987 had quadruple bypass surgery. In fact, Larry married his most recent wife, Sean King, at UCLA Medical Center where he was being treated for chest pains. And so Larry King had published more than 20 books and had a USA Today column for decades. So he's always had that for decades. Um, and coped in various ailments throughout his life. That's what he had. Mostly heart problems. So he always had heart problems and nobody even really knew about it. He suffered several heart attacks and in 1987 had quant quadruple bypass surgery. In fact, Larry married his most recent wife, Sean King. Uh, he, yes, he has married her recently and um, from a UCLA medical center where he was being treated for chest pains on top of that. He tied the knot just before undergoing cardiac surgery. So, yes, yeah, so... Larry and Sean, they have ties and not before he went into cardiac surgery. So this way that if anything happens, she would be there for him. And as you can see, here is Larry King with the beautiful woman I, during um, December 5th, 2018. Larry had been in and out of the hospital in 2019 and was told by doctors he didn't have much longer to live. So yeah, so the doctors told him he didn't have much long, much time to live. So, because he's been in and out of the hospital a lot um, because of everything that was going on with him and it was just taking things for the turn. Just this past July, Larry's son, Andy King, 65, unexpectedly passed away of a heart attack in late July, while his daughter, Chiara King, 52, died just weeks later from lung cancer. So, Larry King's children, they have passed away first. His son, Andy, 
He died of a heart attack in late July of last year. Um, his daughter, she had died weeks later from lung cancer. And of course, we know lung cancer is not the best thing in the world because, um, you know, it could be a amount of anything. It could be from cigarettes or wherever else it could be from. Larry government named Lawrence Harvey Zegger started his career in radio as a disc jockey at WAHRAM in Miami after officially changing his name to King. So his real name was Lawrence Harvey Zegger. Um, he started his career as a radio as a disc jockey at WHARAM and this was in Miami, Florida where he started out at. After that he did change his last name to King. And of course here's a little video of that which I will not play. His voice would ultimately mm -hmm. land him jobs at radio stations across America before finding fame with the Larry King Show, the nationally syndicated late night talk radio show debuted in 1978 across 28 cities. And in just five short years, the show was heard in 118 cities. Yeah, so his voices ultimately land him jobs at radio stations um, all across America um, before finding fame with the Larry King Show. Um, but then after that, he debuted in 1978 across 28 cities. Then five short years later, it was heard in 118 cities. And of course, here's the crooked CNN when he was um, interviewing Obama. Larry's career cap capitulated to the big time when in 1985, Larry King Live premiered on the fledging CNN. He interviewed just about every iconic figure with Sir Paul McCartney, John F. Kennedy Jr., and Marlon Brando. They kissed on the lips in 1994 to Presidents Gerald Ford, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. Larry also interviewed Vladimir Putin. Yes, yeah, so he has interviewed a lot of people, anywhere from Sir Paul McCartney all the way down to Vladimir Putin. And here's the little video of him, which I will not play. The popular late night TV show aired its ep last episode on December 16, 2010, becoming CNN's most watched and longest running program. But he didn't exactly go away quietly. Larry's one man comedy show, Larry King's Stand Up, debuted four minutes later. He also started Larry King Now, an online series that later migrated to Russian owned news channel RT. You yeah, saw so when he has show um the popular late night show aired its last episode in 2010 of December 16th. Um, of course, Larry King didn't go away quietly. Um, Larry's one-man comedy show was called Larry King, Stand Up, and then, of course, that debuted four, four months later. Um, he did start Larry King. Now it's an online series that later migrated to Russian-owned news channel RT as well. Larry loved getting married almost as much as doing interviews. He did it eight times to Freda Miller, 1952, Annette Kay, 1961, Aline Atkins, 1961, Mickey Sufton, 1963, Aline again, 1967, Sharon Lefort, 1976, Julie Alexander, 1989 and Sean 1997 he filed for divorce from Sean in 2019 and so he Larry King was 
always loved getting married almost as much as doing interviews. And of course, all the women that he has married, and of course, he just, he had recently filed for divorce from Sean in 2019. And here's a little video of him where it says, last time we saw him. The last time we saw Larry was in February 2020 when he mused on the upcoming Dodgers season. The Brooklyn native and lifelong Dodgers fan watched them win their first World Series in, in 32 years after the COVID shorted 2020 seasons. Yeah, so the last time they, anybody has seen him, um, it was in 2020. Uh, when he was for an upcoming Dodgers season. Um, he's a Brooklyn native and lifelong Dodgers fan. Larry is survived by five children, Cannon, Chance, Danny, Kelly, and Larry Jr. He was 87, and what an accomplished and full 87 years they were, R.I.P., so he was survived by his five children, of course, Kenneth Chance, Danny Kelly, and Larry Jr. Um, and of course, he accomplished a full 87 years they were. So he has done a lot in his lifetime before passing away. Um, uh, my condolences are to his family, friends, extended family. Um, to his children, of course. Uh, this is a sad time to realize that he has passed away this morning at the page at the age of 87. Leave your comments below. I am out.